staff after the All-Star break and get kind of a stretch drive going. How are you feeling right now? Everything's been great. Um, you know, we've, we've had a long break uh, since since we were last year, and so it's a matter of getting back out there and, uh, you know, letting letting the juices flow. So uh, guys are playing well together. You know, guys have come back from the All-Star break focused and ready to play. So that, that's a good sign we're getting the, the momentum and, and getting it where we need to be. Is it difficult after an All-Star break? Sometimes you'll have five days off. Sometimes you'll have ten days off. Uh, it's all kind of a little bit uh, up in the air as to what, how the schedule will be. Is it tough for you to stay in a rhythm as a sinker ball pitcher? Not not so much. It's a matter of, uh, you know, no matter when we start, whether it's day one, day five, um, it's a matter of going out there and making adjustments every pitch. And, and that's something that uh, we have to really focus on, especially coming back from a long break. I mean, it is something we focus on, uh, but we can't let it get to us. So it's a matter of going out there and getting the job done. Now, your tempo is uh, one of the more interesting tempos in baseball. You love to get out there and get moving. When did you find out that that was a good thing for you to do? Why do you do it? And why does it work for you? You know, honestly, that started back when I was uh, in college playing a position. You know, it didn't matter what position. It's a matter of, uh, you know, when guys are playing playing well, you know, they've got a good rhythm going out there and being hurt, you know, in a in a quick pace. And, and that's something that keeps the, the defense on their toes, puts pressure on the offense, and, and says, uh, you know, we're ready to go. We've got confidence and we want to play. Um, you know, if, if you're on your heels uh, as a defender, you know, you're not as apt to make the play as, as well as you probably could have. So it's a matter of, uh, you know, in that sense, um, you know, the direction that I, that I wanted to take it with. And now it's something that, that really helps me with my rhythm. It, it helps me get back on track if I'm uh, going awry a little bit mechanically or, uh, you know, mentally, whatever it may be. I can speed things, but speed things up and get it back on track. Do you ever have hitters that try to slow you down or umpires that try to slow you down and, and try to get you out of your rhythm? Uh, sometimes. I think that's something that uh, a hitter may talk about with other uh, other hitters and, and try and uh, take some tactics to do that. But there's also uh, you know ways for us to, to get it going and, and be able to uh, stay on our pace. And being on great teams, you've had a lot of great rotations that you've been a part of. And you look at this one, Steven Strasburg, Jordan Zimmerman, Gio Gonzalez, Tanner Rourke, and yourself. Is it one of the best five starters you've ever been a part of? Absolutely. I'm very honored to be a part of this staff, uh, to, to be brought, been brought in. And, uh, you know, I'm the oldest guy here, but uh, it's something that, you know, we, we all feed off of one another. Um, whether it's Tanner or Jordan, uh, we're always, you know, going off of each other and, and being able to uh, uh, communicate with one another on how how they're working or, or what I'm doing, uh, just bouncing ideas off of one another, trying to help one another uh, um, you know, be the best that we can be. You hear Steven and Tanner talk about Steve McCaddy and what an influence he has had on young pitchers. You've had a lot of great pitching coaches as well. Compare Steve McCaddy and, and, and has he told you or, or talked about anything to you that has changed your game a little bit? You know, Kat's uh, very similar to my old pitching coach in Detroit and uh, they actually played together when they were, they were playing and, and so it made it really easy for me to come over here and, and they, they communicated beforehand and and then uh, just kind of carried over uh, both pitching styles so it was it was really an easy transition for me so I've, I've been able to have a good rapport with with cat already and uh, you know he's definitely helped me out a few times they were just like the Colorado game uh, he, he knows that you know hey I need to uh, speed things up instead of slow things down when I'm, I'm a little awry and need to make an adjustment and that's that's one of the adjustments he, he had me make and all of a sudden uh, was able to make the adjustment and, and lock back in so uh, he does understand me he does know where I'm coming from and, and knows uh, the pitching style that I have. So uh, that, that's a that's definitely a quality that I'm, I'm appreciative for. Pitching in the American League for so long, how does the National League compare? You're, you're off to such a great start. Is it different in the way that hitters approach you? It's different in the fact that, uh, you know, I I have to hit now. And, and that's great. that's something, uh, you know, we, we don't take lightly. And, and my numbers don't show uh, the amount of work that we put in for it. But it, it's a matter of, you know, knowing that you've got a job to do. You've got a job to move the runner over. Uh, uh, you know, make sure the bunt, bunt gets down, um, you know, things like that. But a lot of times now, the way uh, guys move so much, you know, there, there's a lot of guys that I faced in the AL for a long time that are now here in the NL. And so, uh, you know, it, it's a mix of, of old guys that I know and, and new guys that I'm learning. So, um, you know, and I'm sure that's the same way back in the AL every year. So it, it's a matter of uh, just going out there and making the pitches that I know I have to make. Thanks so much for your time, Doug. Good luck on Monday. Thank you very much. That is Doug Fister of the Washington National.